We're driving to the grocery store. It closes in 52 minutes and we are gonna try to buy all the food to meal prep. the first time we've ever done this, so we have no idea what we're doing. I have like a menu that I've made on my phone. I've made up a menu and a shopping list. I think we're shopping for about three to four days. We're gonna try and get the groceries out of the way because, you know, it's only 10 o'clock at night, why not? See if you can do it. No, that's so yeah. mean. Are you really good? Yes. I love cheese. Every time she eats cheese, she gets a really bad stomach ache. Right. And now we're trying to eat really healthy, and she's looking for shredded cheese. I'm looking for a cheese alternative. Woo. And we're moving on. I don't know anything about avocados, let's be honest. Every time I just grab one that feels like moderately squishy. I like don't know how to tell, so you know what? We're just gonna get these. different so these are the kind of tomatoes we're gonna eat. I also want bananas. Three sweet potatoes. Where are the sweet potatoes? I don't know how to shop for vegetables. I don't know how to shop period so. Can you tell I've never been in the healthy section before? <laughs> Where's the cheese? <laughs> okay we were right where we were supposed to be. I think these ones are sweet potatoes. They look yummy. Oh, these are potatoes. Those are russet potatoes. It's like a plain potato. We want sweet potatoes. Do I really have to Google what a sweet potato looks like? We've discovered it's orange. Oh, isn't that sweet? This is them. Okay, I'm gonna get a bag. Oh. Mary just got in an accident and now she's doing a hit and run. You're doing me an embarrass. Tortillas. Now we agreed on wheat tortillas. Yes, agreed. Brown rice Gluten tortillas. Free. Are That's gluten -free. interesting. This sounds fine, I guess. I'll we could try, try them. Yeah, I'll try them. This one has lots of chicken that we can freeze or eat. Is, is the morning about chocolate or is it about peach and fruit? I don't really know what to do with the white or the yellow or the whatever. and you can't see me because of all of my healthy food. Yay! Yay! All right, let's get the frozen stuff out of the way so sure. that we can put it back in the freezer. The thing with all of this is it was way more expensive than we thought it was gonna be, but we're like, probably because it's our first time doing this and some of the stuff, like the oils and stuff, are gonna last a while, so this right. will be by far the most expensive trip, we're hoping. So, organic sliced bananas. Um, I don't actually know how much is in here. Like, I don't know if this is I even worth it. I those. I snuck them in the car. Okay. And then another kind of like dessert thing are my dark sweet cherries that are pitted and the frozen cherries. What do you do, whipped cream? Though? Yeah, I put almond milk whipped cream on them. Okay. And it's like a little like sweet almondy like cherry dessert thing. Kind of like giant dip and dots. Okay, for a frozen sweet treat for myself, I really love bananas. I found this ice cream. You can't actually see what it is. So is this healthy? It's non-dairy, so oh, okay. it's at least healthier for right, me because right. my brain is programmed to like want a sweet treat. Mm -hmm. When I'm being really good, I can replace that with apple slices and peanut butter or the frozen cherries and the almond milk whipped cream. Is peanut butter healthy? If you get good peanut butter, it's really healthy. Oh, okay. But I don't have great peanut butter. I like creamy peanut butter and I don't like the kind of gritty grainy texture that the like super healthy peanut butter mm -hmm. has. So if anybody can find like a really good peanut butter that doesn't have any added salt, any added uh, like thickeners or sweeteners or anything like that added to it, it's just straight up peanuts, but it's blended in a really creamy sort of way. I'm totally down for that. Anyway, this is my like cheat dessert, I guess. For frozen veggies, we have frozen corn. I like it in the quinoa bowl I'm gonna make. We also have frozen edamame. Edamame has tons of protein. It is a soybean, which is not great for you. I'm gonna try not to eat these all the time, but I really love edamame and soy sauce. As a soy sauce alternative, we got coconut aminos. Last frozen thing is meat, because we threw it in the freezer when we got it. 
So I'm going to tell you guys, Mary is the pickiest eater. Of oh! One more time. So I'll share this with you guys, a little secret about Mary. She's the pickiest eater ever when it comes to meat. Overall, I don't eat a lot of meat and a lot of protein, and I'm super picky about it, like he said. Mm -hmm. Ground turkey is something that I have used recently, and I like it. We're making turkey meatballs to go on our pasta for one of our meals, and I'm gonna put like taco seasoning on the ground turkey and like fry it up a little bit or whatever, and put that on top of the quinoa bowl. And then we got a whole crap ton of chicken. As for veggies, we got sweet potatoes. I got three. I don't know why but i got three we didn't know how to pick the sweet potatoes so we were just like i think if it's like fat in the middle and skinny on the ends that means it's a good sweet potato like this i'm gonna dice them up and then kind of do like sweet potato chunks as a side for dinner i got four tomatoes for the marinara homemade sauce. marinara yeah, sauce we're gonna make our own i also got two avocados to slice up and put on the quinoa bowls Fresh parsley, also for the tomato sauce, I think. We also got baby spinach because uh, I'm gonna try cooking some of this down as like a side, but I also wanna put raw spinach in a wheat wrap with some shredded baked chicken. It's like a little like wrap thing. One onion, I think this is also for the tomato sauce. And Brussels sprouts, cause ya boy loves Brussels sprouts. I like the really not good for you Brussels sprouts, but I'm gonna try to like the healthy ones too. We also got some fruits. We got lots of bananas. I eat like an average of at least one banana a day. I usually do one chopped up over granola and yogurt or chopped up over my cereal, cashew cereal. This is the like closest to a healthy thing I can get when it comes to cereal. Can you put those in that bowl over there? Please don't do that. Can I present the kiwi? Yes, you can. I like kiwi, so <laughs> I got kiwi. And then for fruits, we also got some grapes and then we also got Little cuties, oranges. Honestly, there are days when I don't have anything to eat in the house and I don't want to go out and eat. So I will just thaw out a Uncrustables sandwich. Yes, the children's peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I do that and I'll have like two cuties and I'll call that lunch. For breakfast, we have a couple of other things that I already had here and then stuff we also picked up. I'm gonna try this almond milk yogurt. I got this Oiko blended Greek yogurt. I got blended fruit. I got chocolate, I got vanilla, and I got peach. I have my own granola here. I got some cereal and yogurt and this is the granola that I put on my yogurt. As for cheeses, Parmesan. This is going to be like freshly grated onto the pasta sauce, I think. I don't know, it was part of the recipe that I looked up just said fresh Parmesan, so we got it. Then we have soy cheese. We have some seasonings. Well, first of all, we got avocado oil because it has the highest smoke point, I think, of like most oils, which means that it has to reach a hotter temperature to cook out all of what's good for you in it, all the like nutrients. Garlic powder and onion powder, the most basic spices of all time. I also got taco seasoning to put in the ground turkey. Another thing we needed for the pasta sauce was these breadcrumbs. And then for canned stuff, I got canned like pre-cut green beans. Easy to make. And I'll eat them as a side. I have black beans. I have a few cans of this for the quinoa bowls. We have tomato paste also for the tomato sauce. This is a very tiny bag for what we paid for it. What is it? Next time we know, go to Whole Foods. This is chickpea pasta. So it's a decent amount of protein. We're gonna try that out for our first dinner. There's been a surprise guest who's been under here the whole time. He's been waiting for her starring moment. We'll clean this before we cook tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so yesterday we did Gelson's grocery store. Today we did Whole Foods and tomorrow we're we will cook, it. cook for you. So we froze the meat, apparently not smart because I didn't think to thaw it out throughout the day in the refrigerator. So now we have to start thawing the meat and it's going to take one to two hours. We're gonna do like the cold water in a bowl method for thawing. We have to open the turkey, put it into a Ziploc bag, get as much air out of it as possible, and then I'm just gonna touch the raw meat with my hands then. Oh, I got it. And then we're putting it into a bowl of cold water. So the thing with this is we have to be super careful to change the water every 30 minutes. And in the meantime, we're gonna make our quinoa and just go ahead and put that in the bowls for our later dates of prepped meals. Sounds good. It's my little dance. Quinoa. So you need to rinse two cups of this in this over that. Sound good? It said until the water drains clear. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say that's sufficiently rinsed. Now we bring it to a boil and then we cover it and we reduce the heat and let it sit for a while. We have, there's something burned on my burner, so like if you see smoke, it's just that. Don't worry about it. I think it's done. Try a little bite? No. I wanna wait till I eat it. Brett and Lady are playing. I'm about to preheat the oven to 400 degrees 
to bake some sweet potatoes. We're gonna wash and cut up the sweet potato into like one inch cubes. And here we have all the sweet potatoes cut up and somewhat cubed and now I'm just gonna put some avocado oil and salt and pepper on them and hope that's seasoned enough, I guess. So we're just going off the package directions on this taco seasoning, except we're dividing it about in half because we want to save half of our ground turkey to make meatballs. We have heated up the oil in the pan and then put the turkey in. Every 10 minutes, we just opened up the oven and stirred them around with a wooden like spatula a little bit. We used one half a pound to make the turkey for the quinoa bowls, and now we're using a half a pound to make turkey meatballs to go with our pasta. So, about this much. I just stopped and did a bunch of dishes and the dishwasher is going now <laughs> trying to make cleanup after this as painless as possible. The turkey meatballs are done. Mm -hmm. They look good. The chicken's gonna have to wait till tomorrow because it's just not thawing. Last couple of things we have. We finished the quinoa bowls. We have sweet potatoes. The turkey meatballs are done. All we have left are cooking Brussels sprouts, cooking up the chickpea pasta. The biggest thing we have left is the homemade tomato sauce. We are going to cut up three tomatoes and one onion. So for making the tomato sauce, we have chopped up one whole onion. Brett's job now is chopping up the tomatoes. So I'm gonna guess this is considered translucent. And we're just gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes now. This is a heck of a lot of sauce. And now we're supposed to just wait until the sauce thickens. And then we add the tomato puree, which we're using tomato paste. So I think I accidentally combined two different recipes when I was making my shopping list. Brett's making some homemade Brussels sprouts because that's one of the things he loves to eat. We're homemade doing powder, no. onion powder, and salt, salt and pepper. They had only said those three and then I think you can just try dipping it in the cooking tomatoes. This is coming along nicely. Brett's Brussels sprouts have been seasoned. They are now all done. This is just one little serving to go on the side of the quinoa bowl for him. We're also waiting for the water to boil for the pasta. We were supposed to have a lid for this pan skillet something, but the one that I thought fit it didn't fit it. So we just turned a pot over upside down on top of it because we didn't have a plate or anything big enough, but it's supposed to like simmer. There's a little gap, so it's not great. I think it's gonna need a little extra time versus what it would have needed, but you know what? We make do. And water is almost boiling and ready for pasta. Pasta's done. Sauce is done. Meatballs have been reheated. And then I wanted a little bit of green beans as a side. We made dinner! Yay! We did not make enough pasta for the future meals. I didn't realize I was just paying attention. In fact, I only cooked one box. So we're gonna quickly eat this, and then I will boil some more pasta, put it in these two with the rest of the pasta sauce, and have those for future meals. Ta-da! Now we're gonna go eat. Goodbye. Yep, bye. giant groceries into these tiny containers. We have a whole meal of the pasta with the turkey meatballs and the homemade sauce. Two of those, I don't know when that's for. And then we have our two quinoa bowls. This okay. is tomorrow's lunch. He has quinoa with the I ground do. turkey and the, and the taco seasoning yeah. and a side of Brussels sprouts. And then I have quinoa with the ground turkey and the taco seasoning and then I have black beans and corn. Then I'm going to mix it all together and add some slices of avocado on top. This is Thursday lunch. Tomorrow dinner is baked chicken. Which we messed up. We're gonna just like bake that at some point tomorrow. And uh, we have a side of sweet potatoes and some green beans and Brett can make more Brussels sprouts if he mm -hmm. wants them. It's pretty easy. We also have uh, spinach, which we can cook down and have cooked spinach with it. And then we have a bunch of extra, I had a bunch of extra black beans and quinoa. Oh, a bunch of quinoa. Like a ton of quinoa. And now I'm gonna go have some dessert, which is frozen cherries. So this was a super fun experiment. I feel like I learned a lot and so did Brett. But we're not gonna lie to you guys. It was probably like five hours, I think 
to complete all of this cooking, which is insane. But a lot of it was because we were learning as we went. From now on, I will be buying a pre-made tomato sauce that is at least somewhat healthy for pasta. And I'll remember to thaw out the meat before the time I'm actually planning to cook it. Other than that, I had a super fun time. There's other stuff we could do to trim down time. But in the meantime, it was a really cool experience for the two of us where we got to learn a lot together. And I look forward to meal prepping again when I get back in town after this weekend. Anyway, I hope that you guys learned something and enjoyed all of the recipes that I used and my shopping list are gonna be in the description box below. I don't know that it's necessarily perfect, but maybe it'll give you somewhere good to start. I'm trying to get my videos out on Thursdays around like 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. So I will see you here next week. Go ahead and like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see more and hit the notification bell because I don't know, that's something people say to do. All right, see you next week, bye.